Welcome back to the SFWBL. This is the Mariners season debut against the Rangers. First batter of the entire game, Griffin Andrews, who was the starter for the Mariners, is going to strike out Adam D'Antonio. And then the third batter of the game, third batter of the inning, is going to be Ryan McCarthy, who strikes out as well. So two strikeouts in the first inning for Griffin Andrews. But the first pitch he sees offensively is going to be a ground out. Starter Zach Ficarelli ended up pitching a gem this game. You'll see later. And Nolan Cloutier in his first at-bat ever ends up striking out as well. So not a great way to start the first, but a great way to start the top of the second for the Rangers with a solo home run for Adam D'Antonio. He leads the league in home runs at this moment. Score becomes one to nothing, Rangers. But that is not all. Zach Ficarelli, next pitch. Takes one deep to right field, his pull side, making the score two to nothing, Rangers. Yeah, it's not going to be the last time that happens. Back-to-back -back home runs from those two. He's going to skip Ryan on the high five, who comes up and then hits a home run of his own, making it three to nothing on back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home runs, and I doubt that's the last time that'll happen this season, also. So a trio of powerful people. They can all bench at least 4,000 pounds. Adam D'Antonio will cap off this, uh, the, uh, the hot streak here for the Rangers, making it four to nothing. Back to back to back to back home runs. And wow, yeah, I, I hated pitching. I wanted to die at this moment. Zach Ficarelli looking for the fifth in a row. He won't get it. He grounds out to Viola. And he doesn't even bother running it out because it's a home runner bust for him. Nolan Cloutier's second at bat ends in a strikeout, too, in the bottom of the third. We thought he'd have like five home runs by his second at bat, but no, Ryan McCarthy does. Making the score five to nothing, his second home run of the game. So yeah, the Rangers were on fire in this one. By the way, sorry about the camera, a foul ball hit it and we didn't change it. It's even worse here, Ryan McCarthy starts Nolan's pitching career off with a ground out, seven to nothing at this point. Yes! Nolan Cloutier. His first career hit, his first career home run right over the pool and left. I doubt you saw that, but it happened. 7-1. to one. And he takes an unrealistic time to get around the bases. He make, he's making sure everyone knows it's him hitting the ball. Just like in real baseball, too. Yeah, 7-1. to one. Andrew Viola, he's going to get his first hit right after this. Adam D'Antonio throws it all the way to the strike zone. Third base coach Caden Cloutier telling Viola to go to second and then all the way to third. Viola using his blazing speed to get to third. Next pitch, Griffin Andrews, RBI single, one hop in the fence up the middle. Viola barely scores, but the score is 7-2. to two. Ryan McCarthy now top of the fifth, his third of the day into the pool. All three into the pool, making the score 8-2. to two. Yeah, th this is a powerful team. If I haven't said that already, which I have. <laughs> Bottom of the six now. Last chance for the Mariners. Griffin Andrews deep to center field. It's gone. Nine to three now. So, yeah, he was down to his last strike, I believe, with one out. Decided to take it deep. Nolan Cloutier up next. He's going to do the same deep to center field. He's jogging right out of the box. He knows it's gone. 9-4, to four. the comeback was looking possible at this point. And yeah, this isn't the last time these two are going to go back-to-back -back this season either. And this isn't the last time Andrew Viola is going to end a, end a hot streak for the Mariners as he pops out to Zach Ficarelli. Both the outs in this inning, 9-4 to four win for the Rangers, destroying the Mariners' hopes of winning their opening day. Stay tuned. Play the Braves. This weekend for the Mariners' second game against the Braves.